here we have a Bell Latitude 7440. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. To start off with, remember to put the laptop on something soft. We're going to flip to the back first and remove the battery to expose two screws holding the back plate down. So screw one. Screw two. The back plate slides off. You slide it down then lift it up to remove it. So that's round slot one, round slot two. Hard drive, M starter, which is a hard drive, wireless card, the fan, CPU, which is on the road. If to remove the hard drive, you re you need to remove the four screws holding it down. Now that we have removed the four screws, you remove the plate that holds it down and remove the st string that's plugged onto the motherboard and you can just pull the hard drive out. We're now going to remove the RAM. Now we remove the wireless card, which has one screw holding it down. We now going to remove all the screws on the back. There are four types of screws. Next to the screw hole, they, there's a letter. There's P, D, P, I, and K. K is, there's two screws, which are for the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, you need to remove the two K screws. But for this, since this is disassembly, we're gonna remove all the screws. So we can remove the keyboard and the plastic covering around it. With all the four screws, they are different size. P is a smaller size. D and PI are the same screw. And K looks exactly like P and DI, but it's a bit thinner. And there's only two of them for the keyboard. We're now going to open it up and remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, we first have to remove the surrounding plastic around the keyboard. You can just dig your fingers underneath it or use a prying tool. Remember to use a prying tool that is soft, like plastic, so it doesn't damage your plastic covering. Try not to use metal or metal knives that can scratch your There's no screws holding it down, just clips. Through the keyboard 
There's three screws holding the keyboard down. Just push the keyboard to left and right as there's clips holding it down and that will release the clips by just pushing it to left which releases the right side and pushing it to left releases the right side and now we flip to the back there's three cables keyboard cables that's connected to the motherboard that we need to remove so we can remove the motherboard you don't have to remove the left and right click it's a separate thing but it makes it a lot easier to remove the keyboard if you remove the left and right click which is also connected to the back as well so you can see there's a hole there and the keyboard cables slide through the hole going to have to remove all the cables that connected so you can remove the plastic covering as it's connected to the plastic covering there's one screw holding the plastic covering down and now we can remove it with all the screws removed it should be pretty easy to remove, don't need to put that much force onto it. Remember not to use too much force in case you forget a screw and you can break it. As you can see soon, I have forgot a screw. And that's it. Remember to put the screws aside and know which screw goes where, or put them in separate boxes, as getting the screw in the wrong hole can damage the screw hole, or if the screw is bigger, it could pierce through the other side. So you have a hole on the other side, which is not nice. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching my video.